Welcome to Wall Street Week, the show of record for long-term investing. I'm Anthony Scaramucci. And I'm Gary Kaminsky. We finally hit the home stretch, thank God, of the 2016 election. A little more than a week before we know who the next president will be. And it seems like corporate America is the one thing both candidates agree on. We will end the cowboy culture on Wall Street and the quick buck mentality in corporate boardrooms. We're going to defend the tough rules. We're going to take on big business and big media that have enriched themselves at your expense. We've asked a true business legend and a great American to join us for this week's show. One of the co-founders of the retail giant Home Depot, Bernie Marcus. Bernie, first of all, thanks for being here. But what is your take on the political rhetoric against business in the United States? Well, um, look, I think that Hillary's... Uh, attack on business uh, has been consistent with the Democratic uh, uh, attack on business all year. You've heard it from Bernie Sanders. Uh, business is bad. And then they talk about taking and helping the middle class and helping people with jobs. Uh, I don't understand. Who employs people in America? I think it's business, isn't it? Uh, or I don't know where Hillary comes from. Uh, I don't know where uh, Elizabeth Warren comes from because she's really going to be the pseudo-president uh, if Hillary is elected. Um, jobs are created by business, and attacking businesses doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, but it tells you where, where Clinton's head is and where her agenda is going. Bernie, Mr. Trump seems to also be doing a little bit of that on the campaign stump lately. What, what do you make of that? No, I think he's a businessman. I think that ultimately... Uh, he's gonna, uh, he understands very s what it means uh, to hire people, to pay people. He understands what overhead is. He understands what it means to, uh, to write a paycheck at the end of the week, which none of the candidates on the other side understand. So uh, I think that what he's rallying against is the, uh, the influence of people like Goldman Sachs and some of the big bankers who are major supporters of, of Hillary Clinton, uh, and knowing her history, um, she can be bought. And I, I assume that that's what they're planning for. Something will happen, well, good will happen for them once she gets in office. Right. Because she does, talk, she does talk one way in one way, and then when she talks to Wall Street, Internally, she talks a different way as well. And, and that's something, Bernie, that we've pointed out on this show many times as we have been in both those private meetings with uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, with the Wall Street meetings, as well as in the public forum. So we have definitely made viewers aware of that. I want to talk about the business environment. I've listened to you now, I think, for the last eight years, talk about how uh, the regulatory environment is so hard for business, um, but really never explaining to the viewers specifically what that means. Can you let the viewers who are thinking about who they're going to vote for in a couple of weeks know exactly what the climate is for business right now and why it is so difficult? Well, let me, let me put it to you this way. Um, when you speak about business, I think that people in the United States think about uh, General Electric. They think about Boeing. Uh, that's not where the, the, the largest amount of people are hired. Uh, it, it happens to be small businesses. And that's businesses that could be anywhere from 500 people uh, down to four or five people. Uh, most of the jobs, about 75% of the jobs in America, are created by small businessmen. We started something called Job Creators Network, which really represents the small businessmen. You know, you know, I'm a, you know, everybody says I'm part of the one percent, but I remember where I came from, and I remember what it was like being a small businessman, open to open the, the Home Depot years and years ago. Uh, last week, I had a meeting with about 150 small businesses. They were restaurants. They were doctors. And, and what they is were... the biggest challenge? Is it, is it health care? What are the challenges they're specifically facing? No, it's, it's taxes. It's regulations. It's an inability to grow. And by the way, it was really interesting. Out of these hundred and some odd people, I asked to raise their hand, how many people are going to hire people this coming year? One out of five we're going to hire. How many of you feel uh, confident about the future? It was less than one out of five. So here you have the people uh, that create somewhere around 82 million jobs that don't believe that this country is going to go forward. So I, I don't know what Obama sees, and I don't know what Hillary sees. I don't have a clue what papers, even the New York Times, which is a total rag, uh, <laughs> they believe what it says. 
uh, it, they, they can't possibly believe it unless they once in a while stop down and get off their high horses and speak to the people that really count. And that's the small businesses in America. They're getting killed. And you know, this year, it's very interesting. That last year, they have statistics for last year. There were more small businesses closing than opening. I don't think in the last 50 years in America that's happened. So jobs aren't being created. And if jobs aren't created, and you think about the regulations, number one, you have Obamacare, which is killing every small businessman. They know that the rates are going to go up dramatically. Those who are covering their employees know that their employees are going to get less, more, less uh, coverage for more money. Uh, they are getting killed by regulations, by EPA, by the FDA, by you name all those three numbers, uh, every single one of them, the Labor Department, the NLRB, everybody out there. It seems to be that Washington is working on how to hurt people and how to keep jobs out of America. I don't get it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a businessman. I've worked for the last 55 years creating jobs. I think that I understand how to create jobs. And the way to create jobs is not the way they're doing it. Yeah. Hillary is talking about taxation. I, I, Bernie, I, right you know, now, we, all, no, I'm yeah, just going to say ahead. that we, we both grew up in the middle class. Uh, and I have a lot of friends that are in the working class that are now becoming the working poor. Uh, and so my yeah. question, though, is how do we get those voters or those people in that economic uh, situation to see what you're saying? Because I feel uh, the communication of that is not going super well uh, for us. No, it, no, it's not. I mean, uh, over the last week, we've seen WikiLeaks come out. We've seen some horrible stories come out on, uh, on video of the corruption in the Democratic Party. And the, the New York Times, the, uh, the Washington Post, CNN had nothing in it. Uh, and so the American people are not seeing it. So they, they are being fed propaganda and they're buying the propaganda. Unfortunately, the American people really don't have the facts. And I don't know how to get it out. Job Creators Network was created for one thing only. It's a nonpartisan uh, 501c3 just to give information to people, accurate, absolute facts, so that they understand how the facts uh, work. Now, I'll give you a perfect example. Wait, wait, Bernie, Bernie, they stay, did, Bernie, yeah. Bernie, stay right there because we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and discuss okay. specifically and give you an opportunity to talk directly to those voters as to what you think they need to know and what the solutions are. Stay right there. Wall Street Week will be right back.